Hello everyone, this is Adishra Subramanian and I am an intern at Law Minds. Today, I'm going to be presenting my video on how to file an online FIR or a criminal complaint. So, in this era of increasing crimes, it is crucial for the citizens and people to know how to initiate a criminal proceedings, which is essentially to file an FIR. And it is also crucial and essential for the people to know that filing an FIR and a criminal complaint has become much more easier because of the advent of technology, which has resulted in the convenience, you know, uh, to file an FIR in an online mode or a criminal complaint in an online mode. So now, before starting any criminal proceeding, it's necessary to either file a complaint or a first information report, which we call as FIR. A complaint usually involves making an allegation against someone for committing an offence presented orally or in writing to a magistrate, but it does not involve the police initially. Whereas, when we talk about FIR, it is prepared by a police officer upon receiving information from someone about the commission of a serious offence. An FIR, or first information report as we call it, is a written document that is prepared by the police when a cognizable offence is committed. In recent years, the process of filing an FIR has become much more simpler with the introduction of an e-FIR, or electronic first information report, which can be done through online mode. Complaints are typically made by the person who has been harmed by the offence, or we can call it as the one who is armed by the offence as the victim. It is usually made by the victim, which are the criminal complaints are made by the victim, or it could be made by anyone aware of the offence or a witness. So now a witness is essentially whoever saw the offence. Those people are called the witness. So typically complaints are made by the victim or anyone aware of the offence or a witness to the offence. The procedure for filing an FIR is outlined in section 154 of the Criminal Procedure Code 1973. But nowhere had it been taught how to file an FIR through online or how to find a criminal complaint through online. First, let me tell you how to file an FIR online. EFIR is an online version of the traditional first information report or FIR and is governed by the same legal provisions. The Information Technology Act 2000 provides the legal framework for the use of electronic records, digital signatures, making EFIR a legally valid document. So essentially, uh, the electronic records, the usage of electronic records and digital signatures make the EFIR a legally valid document. This is governed under the Information Technology Act 2000. To file an EFIR, an individual can visit the official website of the police department and select the option to file an FIR online. They will be required to provide their personal details, a description of the crime and any other relevant information that may help the police in their investigation. While typically one needs to go to a police station to file an FIR, some states have taken the process online. Now, this is the important aspect of the video. Usually, you know, we've seen in the movies also, people have to go to the police station in order to file an FIR. So, this traditional method has been replaced by the EFIR. And this EFIR initi initiation has been taken by a lot of states, which is the, essentially the process of filing an FIR in the online mode. The states which allow for online submission of FIR or complaint are as follows. First, Himachal Pradesh. So, if Himachal Pradesh has its own um, EFIR filing, you know, option uh, through online mode. So, it is essentially a form where you have to fill various fields. At first, you need to select your area in which you reside. In the second field, you will get the list of police stations. So now you have to select one which is nearest to your region. Then you have to select the type of complaint you want to make in an FIR. After this, you need to describe the problem or the situation in detail. This should be only within 2000 words, as in the complaint should be within 2000 words, which is essentially the description of your problem. So the 2000 words are enough for all kind of problems or complaints. In the next part, you need to fill your personal details like your name, address, mobile number, etc. Once you're done with all the fields, you have to hit the submit option at the last. Next state is Delhi. 
So Delhi again has its own link for filing an EFIR. So we have to select the click on services options where you have to click that services options. Then you can start filing a complaint online only for the offenses provided under the services options. Next, Jharkhand also provides uh, the provision for filing an online FIR. So here we have to enter the Aadhaar card number in the instant registration box which will be visible on the page. Then we have to start filing the FIR or the complaint. Now Tamil Nadu. So in Tamil Nadu, we have to choose the option information if you want to file FIR or choose the option complaints if you want to file a police complaint online from the online services box. So essentially, there is this online services box in the left side corner of the uh, Tamil Nadu Police Department website. So there, we have to choose the option information if you want to file FIR, which is the first information report, or choose the option complaints if you want to file a police complaint. In the online mode, then we have to file the FIR complaint accordingly. So again, Maharashtra, Bihar, Madhya Pradesh, Kerala, Haryana, Odisha, Bengaluru, Patna and Kolkata also provide services to file online FIR or criminal complaints. And the FIR has to be filed accordingly as per the different pages which you visit for your own respective states. So now, gathering information and evidence. This is also... Um, Although this is the work of the police, we as citizens also have certain amount of, you know, efforts to be taken in order for the crime to be investigated properly. So essentially, if possible, uh, we as citizens have to try to gather as much as information as possible about the incident before filing the complaint. Knowing the facts helps ensure that your complaint is taken seriously and that it is not dismissed out of hand. So this is also essential in order for the complaint to be accepted. Right. So we need to gather as much as information regarding the incident in order to file the complaint. Additionally, if we can, we have to take photographs or video footage of the scene if possible. For example, if the crime occurred at night, it is essential to take some photographs or some footages, etc. This can be a valuable evidence should a complaint end up in court. In order for the complaint to end up in court, these will act as some valuable evidences. Now, contacting the police department for criminal com com complaints. Assuming you have gathered all the pertinent evidence, which is the evidence needed, you will need to reach out to the police department responsible for the investigating the case. You may need to provide them with some copies of your evidence, photos and video footage as well as contact information for everyone involved in the incident. It is also important to state categorically that it is indeed a criminal complaint and not just a trivial matter. The sooner you arrange to have your case investigated and interviewed, the better your odds of getting justice for yourself and your loved one. After all is said and done, which can take a long time, you may change your mind about pursuing criminal charges against the asylum or pursue a civil lawsuit indeed. Keep in mind that not all cases are handled as fast as other situations because the detectives working on them want to make sure they have sufficient proof to convict a suspect before filing charges against him or her. So now, verification of police station location. Now, after filing the FIR right, verify the location of the police station where your FIR should be filed. The police station locator can be found online or on map. Find out the procedure to file a criminal complaint in India. The procedure may vary from police station to police station, but generally you will need to go to police station present identification such as your passport, driver's license or residence card. You should also bring evidence such as photographs or videos that support your allegations. Complete the forms provided by the police departments and submit them with all required documents. Make sure to keep a copy of all forms for your records. If your complaint is about an election offence, you will need to provide additional documents such as voting slips or election cards. You must also pay any applicable fees that may be levied by the Indian authorities. Then finally, you have to wait for a response. Now, let me tell you some more points about how um, filing an FAR or a criminal complaint as an Indian residence. If I find myself or if you find yourself in a situation where you need to file a criminal complaint in India, there are specific steps you need to take. 
the how to file an online complaint or an online fir i have already talked about previously now there, these are certain steps we need to follow a process of how to file an fir in india now again gather as much as information possible for your complaint to stand make a list of all the involved parties their addresses and any other pertinent information this could also include photos police reports or witness statements if necessary now again locating the po local police station nearest to where the incident took place and make an appointment to file the complaint now this can be done through online and then again you can approach the police station in order to confirm whether the fir or the complaint has been placed now presenting your list of evidence to the officer at the police station and explaining the situation now again one of the most important parts when it comes to digital fir like i said digital signature makes an e fir legally valid this is one of the most important aspects when you file an online or criminal complaint now again the last step or the last thing which we as citizens or we as people should do is wait patiently for the process to complete and wait patiently for the results with this could take up to 2 weeks if no results are forthcoming again we have to follow up with the police station to see if they have any new information regarding the offense or regarding the complaint so this is essentially uh, how to file an online e fir right electronic first information report or a criminal complaint i've also told about some of the aspects of how to gather some evidence in order for the fir to stand and in order for the fir to be accepted right now uh, i've also delved into the aspects of how criminal complaints are to be taken about while approaching a police station so this on the whole is a video about certain processes that are uh, that should be followed by people in order to properly use their resources like the efir and the online criminal complaint so that was my video about how to file an online efir and criminal complaints thank you